Okay. Now, again, thank you very much. All right. So for this review, all right, we have X is less than negative four. So again, we just put our answer at negative four. We put an answer at four. Less than negative four is an open circle. And then we're going to the left. All right, we're going to the left. Would you write what I'm telling you to write? All right, we've always, for inequalities, we've always written two points, a positive and a negative. All right. Now, for question number three, x is greater than three. We again are going with negative three and three greater than is an open circle going to the right. That's what you're supposed to know. All right, number five. Now, absolute value of X is greater than five. So we want X is greater than six. And then we write X is less than negative six. Everybody good with that? And then if we're doing that on a number line, here's negative six, here's six, greater than six, open circle, less than negative six. And this is a what type of statement? Or statement. Absolute value of X is greater than or equal to four. So X greater than or equal to four, X less than or equal to negative four. Then we put negative four, four. We are less than or equal to four. We are uh, greater, I'm sorry, we are greater than or equal to four. And we are less than or equal to negative four. So again, this is still a what? Or statement. All right. Yes. What, guys? Uh, do you think the time when it's an absolute value for the... <laughs> Did I change the signs? Yeah. So, what do you think? When you write the second equation, you switch the signs. Okay. Molly, what? <laughs> yeah, I think you asked him this. He asked the same question you did. Look right here. To write or to solve an absolute value inequality, you write it exactly the way it is without the absolute value. Then you write it the same way, except you change the inequality sign and the negative. You with me? You okay now or not? Yeah. All right, Maya. I'm just looking at the directions. Nope. I just want you to do that for now. But what would that be called? Interval notation is this part right here. Write each, each inequality in interval notation. All right, I said one through eight, I want on a number line. Can you do the others on a number line also? Yeah. Yeah, you can do the others on a number line. All right. But eventually, I don't want you to think on a number line. I want you to think in interval notation. All right. So here we go. Less than negative 12. Everybody should be able to tell me that's just from negative infinity to negative 12, parentheses around both. Everybody good with that? X is greater than negative one. Negative one, comma, infinity. This is the time where you're supposed to be asking if you're having trouble. Anybody? Because this is greater than negative one, right? Right? It's greater than negative one. Okay, number 12. So again, practice writing. You see absolute value. You know you need how many solutions? Two solutions. So we say x greater than two, x less than negative two. 
So you should be able to say, okay, if I'm greater than two and less than negative two, I'm going in opposite directions. So you would say negative infinity to negative two, union two to infinity. Does it matter if you put two and one? Does it matter if it matters with the order? Yeah, I would, I would take off a point. I want it in the right order. You always read numbers from what? Left to right, small to large. That's how you do it. Good with that? Come on. Um, it said you agreed with zero. <clears throat> no. Oh. It's the same. You're right. It's the same. Like but this is just technical terms, if math terms. If you want to be a good student of math, that's how they write it. All right. All right? They don't put an or. All right? It means the same thing. All right. Now, greater than or equal to seven. So now we have, we are X greater than or equal to seven, X less than or equal to negative seven. Everybody good with that? And so again, you're trying to practice visualizing. Less than negative seven means you're from negative infinity to negative seven, bracket, parentheses, union, bracket seven infinity all right hopefully you feel pretty good about that okay let's continue on all right writing in an interval notation all right so now just be careful let's do the math all right you work on it let's go distributing a two Anybody have any questions so far? Remember, you have lots of choices. All right, you have lots of choices. All right, the bottom line is, do you agree with what I wrote on the board? All right, you're allowed to have decimals. You're allowed to have fractions. Doesn't have to work out evenly every single time. All right, does anybody have any problems with that being X is less than 21 fourths? What? Um, where did you put the eight at? What's four minus eight? Oh, yeah. What's four minus eight? What's four minus eight? Negative four. Okay, be careful, be careful. All right, for those of you guys who need it, I just did minus eight X, minus eight X, plus one, plus one. Divided by a negative, so I changed the inequality sign. So if I'm less than 21 fourths, that means I'm going from negative infinity to 21 fourths. Yes, sir. What do you want it to be? Why? Are you thinking 21 divided by three? All right, here we go. Now for 19, all right, we should add four. Now, I would divide by negative two. And when I divide by negative two, what happens to the signs? Changes. Then you're adding five. Dividing by two. Anybody have any issue? Yes. You would be distributing, right? No, I did not distribute. Why not? Because it's quicker if I divide. <laughs> yes, you can distribute. Did you get the same answer as I did? Huh? I'm not done with it yet. X is greater than negative three. So we're going to start at what? 
and we're going to what i'm starting at negative three and i'm heading to infinity do you agree with that Yeah, go ahead. How does this bring negative? Well, what, what, what do you want it to be? This positive. Why? Well, Tell me why. Because when I distribute it to the 4x plus. No, you didn't. You did not get 4x. Oh, wait, negative. Good now? Same answer, right? Okay, here we go. Let's knock out 21. So to me, instead of distributing, Luca, it's much easier to just go ahead and do to what? Yeah, just divide by six. Makes the problem easier. Seven greater than five minus X. Now, in this case, everybody see the minus X, right? So I'm just going to throw it on the other side. And it becomes what? positive x, right? So I'm adding x and I'm subtracting seven. What's five minus seven? Negative two. Five minus seven is negative two. What? On 17, why would I do then like negative 21 over 4? Because you switched the x. I subtracted 8x from both sides. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. On this side, I added x to both sides. Oh, okay. So now X is greater than negative two. So I'm starting at negative two and heading out to infinity. Anybody have any issues? Yes. Um, I'm confused. Why did you take this one? I didn't. On which number? Right, never mind. I don't know why it's just positive. You see it, right? Most of the time, for most of you, it's just silly errors. Carelessness. All right, here we go. 23. Now here, the easiest thing to do is just go ahead and do what? Multiply by infinity. Multiply by the reciprocal. Multiply by negative 8. The problem is if I multiply by negative 8, what do I have to do to the sign? Reverse. That's right. So now I have 4D minus 2 less than or equal to negative 56. It's easy to make a mistake. Make sure you make yourself a little note there. Multiply, divide by negative. Now, what do I do to both sides? Move the two. 4D less than or equal to negative 54. Now, does 54 divide by four evenly? No. Negative 27 over 2, right? 54 over 4, divide by 2, negative 27 over 2, just to make sure. And if you want to use your calculator, you know, it doesn't matter to me, but you should practice your mental math. Anybody have any issues with 23? All right, let's knock out 25. So again, I can do what? Yes, sir. Thank you, Luca. So eight parentheses F minus five greater than or equal to negative 64 divide by eight. So F minus five greater than or equal to negative eight. Do I change the sign? Yes. Did I divide by negative? No, 
I divided by a positive, so I didn't change the sign. Sorry, it's five F minus five. That's what some of you're asking. I got sidetracked. Was that what you were saying to me? Anybody else have a question now? And then I just do what? Move the five. So F is what? Greater than or equal to negative three. So I have a hard bracket at negative three heading to infinity. Do you agree with that? All right, now we have our compound inequalities. Compound inequalities just basically mean there's just two problems. That's all. Just means there's two problems. All right, so I have to do what in the first problem? Yeah. So just to show you, I'm just dividing it in half, making two problems. Adding four makes it what? 3x is less than or equal to negative three, right? Less than or equal to negative one. Or, so now I have two thirds x is greater than or equal to Eighteen. Eighteen, right? Everybody okay with that? Now we're doing what? Multiply by the reciprocal. So X is greater than or equal to twenty-seven. So, or this time they're going in opposite directions, which makes it nice. So that means we're going from negative, negative infinity to negative one. And Don't forget, it's not a parentheses, but a bracket, union, bracket, 27 to infinity. Luca? I multiplied 18 times three halves. What's 18 divided by two times three? Good? Everybody's good? Okay, let's talk about 29. What do I have to do? Bring the, four. Bring the four over. So that becomes, Minus good job. Negative X is less than negative 11. So that means X is greater than 11. Everybody okay with that? Move the four. Negative 5x is greater than 15. So now what? Less than, less than what? That's where you got to fix on your test. You always make little mistakes. X is less than negative 3. X is less than negative 3. So we got what? Negative infinity to negative three. Uh -huh. 11 to infinity. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Everybody good? Okay, 31. X is less than two, or I'm sorry, if X is greater than or equal to two, or X is less than or equal to eight. All real numbers. Nice. If you can see that. Is everybody okay with that? 
right? Because they overlap. If you're not sure, sometimes I tell, to me, it was easier to make a number line when I was first doing this. Greater than or equal to two, less than or equal to eight. <clears throat> so every number is either what? Less than eight or greater than two. All right, so I like to write negative infinity to infinity. I like how some of you remember our little symbol for all real numbers, either one. Yes. Um, I thought that when they're going the same way, you do that. I'm sorry? It's not. So if they are going the same way. Then... See, that's because you're trying to remember things. I don't want you to remember things. I want you to understand things. That way, when they're come, like number 33, number 33 is what you're thinking of, right? Tell me what number is not greater than two or less than eight. Give me a number that's not greater than two or less than eight. There is none. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You with me? Again, I tell everybody, there's people want to say, okay, if this happens, this is what it is. If this, 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 there's so many different possibilities in math. There's no, it's very rarely, we just always say it's always true. All right. Especially for inequalities and absolute values. Very tricky. You got to think it through. That's why I said, think on these. All right. Now, what numbers are greater than two or greater than eight? What numbers are greater than two or greater than eight? Tell us. Two to infinity. Two to infinity. Bracket around the two. Remember, or means it only has to be true for what? One of them. It only has to be true for one. All right? What numbers are greater than two or greater than eight? Every number that's greater than two. All right? The numbers greater than eight are both greater than two and greater than eight. Is everybody with me on that? What? Um, well, you go home and think about 34. All right, here we go. On 35 now, back to absolute value inequalities, which means there are how many solutions? Yeah. Two. two. So on the test, every year, a couple kids write one solution. All right, 4x minus 8 less than or equal to 16, 4x minus 8 greater than or equal to 16. negative 16. And now we're solving, adding 8. Adding 8. And then now I wanted an interval notation. All right. Do I really care about the graph? The graph is there just for those of you guys. If you're struggling a little bit, you want to see it visually. I'm just leaving a space for you, but I'm going to put interval notation. So if you're less than six and greater than negative two. So we're saying bracket negative two to six. Now, those of you guys who like to put things in a box, less than is a what statement? And greater than is your what? Or. or, but I don't have to know that, all right? I don't have to know that. I just think about it. Okay, so 37, here we go. 5 minus 2d greater than 9. 5 minus 2d less than negative 9. <clears throat> Can I just can I use that for a second? You good? All right. Again, for 37, we're writing it twice. First time, exactly the way it is. Second time, switch the signs. So now we have negative 2D 
greater than four. So D less than negative two. Everybody okay with that? Everybody good? All right, so now subtracting five, negative two D is less than what? Negative 14. I know. D is greater than seven. So you're thinking about less than negative two, greater than seven means they go in opposite direct. Greater than seven, less than negative two, are they in opposite directions? Yeah. So it's an or statement here. So we're going from negative infinity to union. There you have it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Brennan, you still good? Yeah. Good. All right, here we go. 39. Now we have to isolate first. So I have to add seven. Absolute value of X is less than or equal to what? 10. So X less than or equal to 10. X greater than or equal to negative 10. So this is definitely what? And there we go, negative 10 to 10. Negative 10 to 10. Everybody good with that? All right, here we go. Let's knock out 41. All right, so here we go. 4x minus 8, less than 12. Adding 8. Adding eight again. Anybody have any issues with that? Anybody? Okay, so is this an and or an or? And greater than negative one, less than five. You, you're thinking about the numbers. Think about it, less than five, greater than negative one. Oh. So here's five, here's negative one. Greater than, less than. Mm -hmm. 43, what do I have to do first? Bring the five. So you're isolating the absolute value. And then what? Divide by negative four, you don't distribute. Divide by negative four, absolute value X minus three is less than or equal to? Five. five. And don't forget you have to do what to the sign? Thank you. Good with that? And so now we just have X minus three is greater than or equal to five. X minus three less than or equal to? Negative five. So X is greater than or equal to, X is less than or equal to negative two. Again here, or statement, negative infinity to negative two, Union. <clears throat> yes, sir. Well, which one? Tell me. Let's go. You sure? Good for you, Molly. Come on, girl. Well, you just have to think about where's eight. Here's negative two, 
if I'm greater than or equal to eight, I'm going this way. If I'm less than negative two, I'm going this way. Right, negative infinity is over here, infinity is over here. Correct? Okay, 45, I have to isolate. What do I have to do? Add 12. What is that? Then what? Divide by eight. And now we're writing. Do have any issues with that? So now X is Everybody okay? Not bad. Wow. Okay. Yes, sir. Tell me why. But here's five fourths right here, right? And here's thirteen fourths over here, right? If I'm less than thirteen four, I'm going this direction. So they're going towards each other, right? All right, so graphing these lines. 47, isolate first. We got this now. No, just move the X. Negative three Y is greater than or equal to negative two X plus nine. Everybody agree with that? And then dividing by negative three. And when I divide by negative three, what do I have to do to the signs? So Y is? A center equal to two thirds X minus three. Is everybody good with that? Okay, so now what do we do? Mark the negative three, then go up two to the right three. Draw the line, solid right. And then shading where? Shading below. All right, let's not spend too much time coloring. I know some of you enjoy it. So leave your color markers and your, you know, don't do that. All right, here we go. Let's knock out 49 now. Move the two X. Then divide by five. Anybody have any issues with that? Yes, sir. Because I moved the 2x from the left. You with me? All right. So from there, I go what? 
What do I do first? Up to, thank you. And then draw the line. And don't forget what kind of line, dotted line. And then we're shading which direction? Nothing to it. All right, anybody? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I don't know what. When Greater than is above. Listen to me. It's really simple, so pay attention. Ray, I know you weren't here. So this is a line. So greater than would be shaded above. All right. This is also a line. Greater than would be shaded above. You hear know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Less than would be what? Shaded, uh, Below, right? You with me? Now, if you have a horizontal line, greater than is what? Um, above. Greater above. Less than is what? Oh, no. Below. You with me? Yeah. Vertical lines. Occasion you'll get less than is below or to the left, greater than is to the what? Right. You with me on this? Yeah. That's what we did yesterday. All right, now that brings us real quick. Come on. What? If it's equal to, it's a solid, right? So here, this is what the case is. If it's greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, it's solid. If it's greater than or less than, it's a dotted. Okay. Hold up, guys. Why is less than or equal to negative three? So we have a solid dot at negative three shading where? Below. All right. Try to do the evens for homework, even though we're going to do them on Monday. But practice, please. Practice. Make sure you are good. All right, make sure you're good. I'm writing a note to everyone's parents right now telling them to study over the weekend. You're welcome. No, we're going over this. Um, can you fix? Um,